Do you also want to see such content warnings in modern WoW games even before you buy them? Be real, how many times have you bought a seemingly normal game, only to later find out that it features homosexual romance? What? Why? Well, not anymore. Thanks to that WoW content detector list, you will never buy another ambiguous game ever again. There are more than 1500 games that are divided onto three categories. Not recommended, informational, and recommended. Let's start with the WoW games we should avoid all costs. Disco Elysium Well, might be a little too late for me since I've accidentally dedicated my entire channel to this game, but I didn't know it was Vogue. And the reason is, it contains overtly pro-LGBTQ plus messaging, features multiple LGBTQ plus characters, including the player character, contains heavy social commentary regarding communism, but whether pro or anti isn't clear. Hmm, yeah, it is kinda convoluted. As someone who did a communist playthrough myself, I didn't get how serious the game is about it with all those riddles. In dark times, should the stars also go out? Is this a trick question? No. Quick, hit them with a comeback. But who cares about some political, social, economical ideologies? The real reason you should avoid this game is because it has gay characters. Though I somehow managed to finish the story without obsessing over anyone's sexuality, including my own, so I didn't even know there were any gay characters in the first place. The only way to know if certain characters are gay is to actively seek it. And the player character is a pure reflection of player's choices, so if your Harry had some thoughts about homosexual underground, well then, I got some news for you. Ah, uh, you know what, never mind, better not to think about it, don't think about it. Let's just show those thoughts at the back of our minds, just like we do with, yes, depression. Another woke concept invented by Gen Z left it so they could grind less. Normal humans should avoid all games that feature a story about living with depression, especially if said story has lesbians in it. That's why Hogwarts Legacy isn't recommended, as it features a lesbian couple. Even though it doesn't impact the story whatsoever and those characters don't even interact with each other, yet they refer to one another as wives, meaning that they're not just lesbians but also married. This universe must be insanely woke. But I don't want you to think that certain games aren't recommended solely for gay reasons. Some reviews also provide in-depth analysis of the world-building, game mechanics and overall coherence of the game's stories. For example, 1800 Scotland is somehow too diverse for its time period. Wait, it's a wizarding world of magic where teleportation is quite common. Um. Well, the game also makes you to choose a body type instead of biological sex on character creation. It's too much. Good thing you can spot that woke flag early in the game, so if you unknowingly buy something that uses body types, you can return it as up. Bra, what did you trade all your leg days for? W woke days? <laughs> Baldur's Gate 3 also uses body types? Eh, I wasn't gonna play it anyway, I'm broke. I mean, there's optional homosexual romance, so that's why. Not that it's all about gays, as I've already mentioned. I'll prove it to you. Let's find a game that is not recommended for other reasons. Hades is gay, Dream Daddy is gay, Your Royal Gayness is gay, huh? Signalist is lesbian, Unpacking is lesbian, Futa Dome World, I got blackmailed by a Futanari, Futa Tales, Juicy Futa, Futa Fix, Dig Dine and Dish. Then how come there are so many Futanari games and niche visual novels that barely even have any reviews on Steam, but no games I wanted to check? It's as if the creators of this list were specifically targeting romantic novels for some reason. But isn't romance Kinda woke? Uh, let's not dwell on it and just keep scrolling. Anything that has pride flags is obviously created for the woke community, right? Like sticky business and dead by daylight and… Among Us is woke because of the pride flag nameplates? And that said, that's the only reason to avoid the game? Some colorful rectangles? Feels like they got imposters in their steam group that mark all games as woke for the puniest reasons for gatekeeping purposes. Look, Terraria is not recommended because there's a gender change potion that uses the same colors as a pride flag. Isn't like everything in this world uses the same colors as a pride flag? Including this list. And that potion uses only two colors. Well, maybe it refers to some other pride flag, I don't know. I'm obviously not as acquainted with gay culture as the curators of this list. Just look at Mediterranean Inferno review. Contains overtly pro LGBTQ plus messaging. The player character is gay. Features gay characters and interactions. Features male male homoeroticism. <laughs> it's still unclear what this game is about, isn't it? And there's some space left. Let's fix it. 
Damn, with all that gayness talk, I forgot that we were looking for a game that is not recommended for other than being pro LGBTQ+. But out of 810 games, almost 90% have that tech. Still, it's usually not enough on its own for a game to be woke, and there are some other reasons. As I've said, it's not all about gays. Look, Borderlands 3. Blah blah, DLC features a homosexual relationship. Ugh. Oh, PC full fork versus a non-binary pin. How come a robot is non-binary? What their system is based on then? Quantum units? Don't see that anywhere. And while Hades is gay, Hades too not only gay, but also has a character with vitiligo. Oh, you don't know what vitiligo is? It's an autoimmune disease that causes loss of skin pigment in patches. It's not contagious or even harmful, but it's DEI infused, so it can't be tolerated. Hope the creators of this list won't accidentally develop that condition later in life. That would be quite ironic, huh? To be honest, I don't get why writers don't like vitiligo. It's like nature's whitewashing. I do get why Spider-Man Miles Morales is woke, though. I respect every single Spider-Man in here. Does that include me? No, you fuck! Not only that, but Miles also overshadows Peter Parker in this game. Yes, the game called Spider-Man Miles Morales, the game that is about Miles Morales, is primarily focused on Miles Morales and not the other Spider-Man that this game is not about. What a twist! So woke, just like Cyberpunk 2077, that not only features a trans character, but also upholds transhumanism, which is way worse. Imagine if robots start transitioning to humans. Will you be able to trust anyone ever again? Um, anyway, I found it. Dave the Diver has no gay characters but still woke because the player character is fat, yet somehow can deep dive and swim without trouble. Oh, and Sushi Chief is black. Damn, they're not even trying to hide it at this point. I'm not just racist. I've played WoW games. See, there are plenty of other not LGBTQ plus related reasons for those games to not be recommended. Another example is Civilization 6. All the previous six are fine, but the sixth one contains pro-climate action messaging and has global warming and carbon capture mechanics. A bunch of leftist concepts again, none of which are even real. But in case it doesn't sway you, the game also features historically unimportant female leaders. Quick question, is it all of them? Or some female leaders are important after all? It's a rhetorical question. Counter-Strike 2 isn't recommended simply because Wiper, one of the agents, is more muscular than most male operators. Whoa, I have the same scar. Cool. And both Darkest Dungeons feature female heroes who are frontline combatants. Only damsels in distress aren't woke. What's the matter? You can't stand the sight of a strong Nord woman? Huh? My favorite review on the whole list is gotta be on the Armored Core 6, which simply states, contains multiple forms of woke messaging, some are word and some are subtle. Perfect. I wish all these reviews were like this. Okay, I think we got a pretty good understanding of how woke games look like. Let's move on to informational category. Overcooked series contains subtly pro DEI messaging, because you can play as a wheelchair-bound raccoon. <laughs> Absolutely f***ing unhinged. Also, your chief can be black, so here's that. But but wait, it gets better. Duck Detective, the secret salami, is slightly woke because multiple characters are divorced, which is sending an anti-family message. It's not about you. What's about sending a message? Helldivers 2 intro notably features a mixed race family, yeah, that gets brutally murdered that very second, and has no clear distinction between male or female aside from voice options. Those voices aren't even titled as male and female like in the first game, and there's also body types called brown and lean instead of biological sex. Why is this game only subtly woke then? Well, Elden Ring is not recommended solely because of the usage of body types. Besides, did the fact that Helldiver series is a satire on the far right went over their heads? Or did you think you really were spreading democracy this whole time? Well, I guess invading other planets and exploiting alien life for profit aligns nicely with pro-humanism messaging. That's why destroy humans is not on the recommended list as you have to DESTROY ALL you. Yeah, do exactly what it says on the tin. And it's informational because it contains only subtle anti-human messaging. How is this subtle? Meanwhile, Humanity Must Perish, where you play as an android who wants to end the mankind, is not recommended at all. Oh, I get it. You see, said android wants humanity to perish to save the planet and its other inhabitants, while the evil alien wants to annihilate puny humans just for the lulz. Only one of those approaches is tolerable enough. 
Then there are so many inconsistencies in this list, like remember that Terraria is woke because of the gender change potion? Though Dark Souls 2 is informational despite there being a gender swap coffin and things betwixt, is it because it doesn't use the same colors as a pride flag? Baldur's Gate 3 has homosexual romance options? Nope. Dragon Age Origins has homosexual romance options? Gets a pass. Hogwarts Legacy has a mention of lesbians? Nope. The Outer Worlds has lesbians, whom you can even help to set up a date? Gets a pass. Disco Elysium has gay characters? Nope. The Witcher 3 has gay characters? Gets a pass. Should've named those categories games I liked, games I didn't like, and games I've already played so they can't be woke. But then again, the list was created by a Steam Group Hive Mind and is created by 4 people, so you can't expect those reviews to be consistent. My favorite contradiction here is that Portal is recommended, while Portal 2 is informational because all male characters are less competent than the female ones. Bro, there's only two female characters, the main protagonist and you. So you can be a pretty incompetent chill if you want to, just, just jump down, would you? Oh, wow, good. I think that was gonna work. But the contradictions get even funnier when we delve into the recommended category. None of the Half-Life games are woke, even Alex, despite that protagonist is mixed race, Bioshock franchise scored all three possible ratings. So be careful when playing the first game, as there's a gay NPC. Enjoy the second one since there's no woke content whatsoever, and completely avoid Bioshock Infinite because of the caricature racists. And it doesn't matter that the whole series are dunking on Ayn Rand's subjectivism and the anarcho-capitalist system which led to the dystopian state of rapture. Damn this media literacy. Is a gamer not entitled to the game with no politics in it? Same with Fallout series. Most games are informational due to LGBTQ plus messaging only. And it seems that Fallout New Vegas had light social commentary in its review, which got removed. Liking boys is bad for the economy. But it's not all about gays, right? Besides, they had to mark some games as not woke. Otherwise, the whole list would consist of the Pot Pot series and Alex Jones' New World Order. Bayonetta contains no woke content. What happened to female characters being frontline combatants and more capable than the male ones? Or is it because she's hot, just like 2B from Nier Automata? So we let it slide. Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel contains no war content. Oh yeah? Well, this card's gay. How about that? A little to the left contains no war content. There is an achievement called Rainbow to the Moon, which sounds pretty gay to me. Oh, you think I'm nitpicking? Minecraft is not recommended because of some damn splash texts. <laughs> At least my achievement farming games for profile decoration aren't woke. Oh wait. Nah, that doesn't count. It's not what developers intended. Plus, any game can be turned gay with the right modes. So better avoid all the mods just in case. Like you avoid all forms of good media for the pettiest reasons, falling deeper into the false comfort of your echo chamber while shrinking your worldview by confining yourself to the same things you've done and the same thoughts you've had, missing out on everything that could potentially break that pattern and ultimately deeming yourself completely culturally irrelevant. And yeah, it was all about gays after all. Regardless, it's a very helpful list. I've added so many games from it to my wish list and had a good laugh. So check it out yourself if you want to, I'll leave the link in the description. Just don't harass those people, you've seen how sensitive they are. And let me know in the comments which review is your favorite. See ya!